economics is a research-led teaching environment. That means that many of the people who teach economics here are also at the forefront of academic research. That means that we have the potential to offer a wide variety of different options in many different areas. I, for example, teach an, e an experimental economics option, which is a very rare option to have at the undergraduate level, because this is something that I do as a researcher. And we offer many different options that pull in individuals who do cutting-edge research into their teaching. So my research on applied economics is on populism. The question I ask is why do the unhappy vote for change? And I aim to evaluate um, the role of subjective well-being measures like happiness and life satisfaction uh, or feelings about your income in causing voting for populist parties. So my dissertation title is Terror in Turkey, Can Terrorism Explain Turkey's Failed Sign Horyoka Paradox? I'm trying to see whether the high levels of terrorism that Turkey uh, experiences has an influence on their consumer behaviour, so their saver behaviour and their investor behaviour. So the topic of my RE project was how pay transparency policies affect the gender wage gap. I did a lot of research into what kind of things might make the gender wage gap worse. One of the things that really stood out to me was pay secrecy or pay transparency. Most of my lecturers are just people who are experts in their fields and written books and they're also approachable at the same time so I can go to them at any time and ask questions. A lot of my research, particularly the research on measuring happiness and trying to understand how happiness affects behaviour, has been covered by hundreds of different media outlets, I've been many different radio reports, I've talked to government, I've talked to international bodies, and many of my ideas have been taken on board, and happiness is now being taken very much more seriously as an economic concept and as an important policy objective than it ever was before. And the work of me and many of my colleagues in Warwick has been important in pushing that message.